the ant and the grasshopper. It was a lovely summer day. The grasshopper was sitting in the sun, playing his violin. An ant walked by, grunting as he carried an enormous piece of corn on his back. That corn looks really heavy, said the grasshopper. Come and play with me instead. The ant was tired and hot. He pointed at a pile of corn. I can't. This will be my food during winter, he said. There will be less food then, so I must prepare now. The grasshopper laughed. Why worry about winter? He said. It's summer now, and there's plenty of food. Soon, the weather became very cold, and the ground was covered with thick snow and ice. The grasshopper tried to dig, but he couldn't find any food. Help me! I'm hungry! said the grasshopper to the ant. Please, can I share your food? The ant had lots of food and was kind and generous. you this time said the ant and he gave the grasshopper some corn but next year I will not help you you mustn't be lazy and you must prepare for the winter The Discontented Goat A goat and a cow were grazing in a field. The grass was fresh and green. It was more than enough for the two animals. However, the goat thought that the grass on the other side of the hill was better. He wanted to go there. One morning, the goat said, I heard that the grass over the hill is fresher and sweeter. I am going there. Do you want to come along? No, replied the cow. I am happy here. The food is good, the air is fresh, and nobody disturbs me. It is quite far from here, said the cow. The journey takes a few hours. Be careful. You have to climb over some rocks. Don't worry, said the goat. I can take care of myself. I'll see you in the evening. After saying goodbye to the cow, the goat started to climb up the hill. It was not an easy climb. By the time he reached the other side, he was already very tired. He rested for a while. Then he started to eat the grass. It has tasted dry and stale. The grass here is bad, he said regretfully. I'd better head back before it gets dark. The moral of the story is, do not be greedy. Be contented with what you have. The Monkey in Trouble One day, a little monkey was looking for food in a jungle. He walked around and finally he came to a mango tree. It was beside a river. He looked up and saw a bunch of ripe mangoes at the end of a branch. 
What a juicy bunch of ripe mangoes! He thought happily. As the branch could break easily, he climbed up slowly and carefully. When he was almost there, he stretched out his hand to pluck the mangoes. Suddenly, the branch broke. Splash! The monkey fell into the water. Help! Help! cried out the monkey. I can't swim! Please help me! At that moment, an elephant happened to pass by. The monkey shouted, Mr. Elephant, please help me. I am drowning. Pull me out. The elephant asked, What are you doing in the water? Please help me first, said the monkey. Ask me later. Now, promise me that you will learn to swim before you play in the water, said the elephant. All right, I promise, said the monkey. Please, Mr. Elephant, hurry up. Wait, I will show you, said the elephant. The poor monkey could not wait any longer. He drowned in the water. The moral of the story is, if you wish to help someone, act first and talk later. The crane shamed the peacock. Once, there was a peacock who was very proud of his beautiful feathers. He loved to tell everyone how handsome he looked. He walked around and said, My friends, please look at me. I am so tall and handsome. No other birds are as good-looking as I am. The peacock opened up his tail feathers like a big fan. He walked up and down to show off his feathers. The other birds did not like him. They were angry with him. They wanted to teach the peacock a lesson. What can we do? They asked among themselves. All this while, a crane was secretly watching the peacock. He too wanted to embarrass the peacock. One day, the crane came up with an idea. He purposely walked up to the peacock. The peacock said, Mr. Crane, you are so plain and dull as compared to me. Look at me, I am so beautiful. The crane said, It's true that your feathers are more beautiful, but I can do something that you can't. I can fly because my wings are strong. You cannot fly because your wings are weak. My wings can carry me up to the sky. I suppose you are right, said the peacock, feeling ashamed of himself. He never boasted again. The moral of the story is that beauty isn't everything. Capability is more important. A narrow escape. One day, a woodcutter was busy chopping firewood when he heard some gunshots. He could also hear some dogs barking. Suddenly, 
he looked up and saw a deer running towards him. The deer stopped before him and pleaded, Sir, please hide me somewhere. A hunter is after me. The woodcutter took pity on the deer. He pointed to his little tool shed where the deer could hide. Soon, a hunter appeared with his dogs growling beside him. He too stopped in front of the woodcutter and asked, Sir, did a deer pass by here? No, I did not see any deer here, replied the woodcutter. Oh, what a shame, said the hunter. It's a prime deer that is worth a lot of money. On hearing that, the woodcutter thought, If I tell him where the deer is, I might get a share. He did not want the deer to hear him. As the hunter was leaving, he quickly signaled with his fingers, but the hunter did not get the message. However, the deer saw everything. He came out quietly and walked away. Wouldn't you thank me for saving you? asked the woodcutter angrily. Then the deer replied, I would have thanked you if you had kept your words and not signaled to the hunter that I was in the shed. The moral of the story is that do not say one thing and do another.